Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. We are on episode 6 of the Rags to Riches series. This is the series where I give you guys control over $1,000 and you guys get to decide how we fill out a Pokemon card collection. You get to decide what we buy, open, grade, etc, etc, you know the rest. Alright, so the last vote we gave all of the second place finishers a second win and surprising me, Tag Team All-Stars won a Japanese set. I really thought you guys would pick the $100 mystery box goes to show you how little I know my own community. So we're going to open up a Tag Team All-Stars booster box but not just any Tag Team All-Stars booster box. This is the box that has been sitting on my display for the last 50 videos and I've been wondering if there is a god packed inside so it's going to be fun to open it this and find out however before we open up this booster box we have to go over our very first community PSA returns you guys voted to send off our shiny Charizard GX as well as our shining Rayquaza both were pulled from packs if these are both PSA 10, then we are really going to the moon with the community collection. It costs us $50 each to grade these cards, which is pretty hefty. But hey, you got to take some risk if you want to be rewarded. All right, let's cut this baby open. The last shiny Charizard GX PSA 10 sold at auction for, uh, I believe, ooh, $1,600 very expensive i think the last uh shining rayquaza psa 10 sold for right around ugh, 600 dollars or so don't quote me on that i'm speaking off right the top of my head so yeah uh, i think that's correct though so we could definitely really increase the value of our collection base on the grades on these two cards if they're both psa 10 then yeah the whole entire community collection is going to be worth well over three thousand dollars where we started at with just a thousand dollars if either one is psa 9 then i think it's still okay uh, if it's like oh my goodness if like we both get psa 8 or lower then it's going to be a huge hit to the collection value so yeah very risky but you don't make some value you don't take some risk so let's check out the first card i believe this one is the shiny charizard gx because i would have submitted that one first uh all right three two one flip Ooh, and it came back as a psa 9 so now the community collection has a psa 9 shiny charizard gx this card's current value is right around 600 dollars in a psa 10 it would be worth $1,600 so an extra thousand dollars for just one numerical difference I'm not super surprised that this card came back as a PSA 9 uh, in our pack opening when we pulled this card I did ask the live chat if this card was a PSA 10 or 9 and the whole entire chat was going 99999 like they were a German girl rejecting me or something like that. And honestly, I totally expected it. This card is pretty solid in terms of the surface, but where we got dinged on is definitely the centering. If you look at this card, the top centering is just way wider compared to the bottom. It's com it's really off-centered. So yeah, PSA 9 was what we could have expected. Uh, a lot of people ask me, like don't you always gain value when you grade pokemon cards and here's an example where we actually lost value by grading our pokemon card so this card ungraded in near mint condition is value right around 600 dollars and we spent 50 dollars to grade it in a psa 9 and it's still worth right around 600 dollars so there is some detriment right there to the collection however let's see if we can make back um some value with the second card hopefully this one is a psa 10 looking at the centering i would say that's pretty good is that a white spot right there nope hopefully it's just dust all right three two one flip yes yes that is fantastic that is exactly what we're talking about that is a huge win for the community 
portfolio. A massive win for sure. The Shining Rayquaza in a PSA 10. This card in a PSA 10 is currently valued at right around, I would say, $500 to $600. So yeah, huge jump up. These two cards combined is currently valued at $1,100. What that means is that the whole entire community portfolio is now worth well over $2,000. We started with just a humble $1,000 and now we're on our way to the moon with well over $2,000 in value in our whole entire collection. Man, that is a gorgeous Charizard GX. I can't believe it got a nine. I was thinking it'd be a 50-50 chance of it being either a nine or a 10, but yeah, a nine is totally fine. So final announcement before we get on to the Tag Team All-Stars Booster Box opening, and that is these two cards will be up for sale. If you check out the link down in the description, there is an auction where the community portfolio is going to be selling off these two cards but wait jake i thought you were gonna let us make all the decision well here's the thing as the portfolio manager i have to let you guys know that we are uh, in the red we are completely broke we spent our one thousand dollars that we started with so now the community collection is all that we have in terms of value if we want to buy anything else which we do want to buy cards going forward we have to sell off something and to me it just makes sense that whatever grade these two cards came back as we would sell them and use the money from the auction to buy more pokemon cards for the community portfolio so i hope you guys understand why that decision was made because the community portfolio is flat broke we are out of money so yeah definitely have to sell off these cards uh, there's no other way around it didn't really need a vote for that one so yeah if you would like to pick up the shiny charizard gx psa 9 or the shining rayquaza psa 10 from shining legends and hidden fates you can purchase these cards now from an ebay auction down in the description it's gonna go over a week international winners can win these cards if you are a viewer and you won these cards then just let me know and i'm more than happy to sign the cards or do whatever you want before i ship them off to you so thank you so much and hopefully these go to a really nice home all right on to the tag team all-stars booster box opening a really really fantastic set this is probably my favorite set from 2019 favorite japanese set for sure my favorite english set would probably be hidden fates but yeah it's really hard to, to uh, beat tag team all-stars this set i just thought was really underrated for a bunch of reasons there are some fantastic cards in this set that never made it way to english so if you want to get some of these cars the only way you can really get them is from these japanese tag team all-stars booster boxes and this is a really really fantastic set like i think it even beats out shiny star b and here's the thing okay so there are god packs in shiny star b but i don't think you can compare the god packs in shiny star b to the god packs from tag team all-stars at all it's not the same. The ones from Tag Team All-Stars are way better. It's not even close. So inside of a Tag Team All-Star God Pack, you're going to get what? Oof. Three full art cards and like six GX cards. Some of them are all like they're all secret rare cards and are super good. Inside of the Shiny Star V God Pack, you're just getting a bunch of regular shiny hollows, you know which are cool but it's not that cool so uh apparently i don't do any card tricks with this that's what people said don't do any card tricks just you know look at them right away as is so inside of every single tag team all-stars uh, booster pack you do get yourself two hollows as well as a gx card there's a hit right there the Hollow Blast Toys is actually worth quite the pretty penny, especially in a graded PSA 10 form. And our first GX card is Tag Team GX Trevenant and Dust Nor R. Pretty solid hit. The card is already a little bit curved already. That's okay. 
Some people have asked me if PSA or other card graders will really detriment you for having curved cards, and no, they do not. They do not uh, decrease the grade of your card if it's like curved at all. They don't care. And a big reason for that is once the card is encapsulated, it's gonna flatten out on its own, so what's the point? And I can see why people say don't do any card tricks with this uh, set because the GX card or the ultra rare card is already in the back. So what do you need to do? We got ourselves Yavetel or Yvetel, whichever one you want to pronounce it as, in a nice hollow rare. I don't think I've seen this card pulled before, so that's a pretty nice hit. We got ourselves Mel Metal, and in the back we got Mawile GX. Nothing uh, really too crazy on that one. Inside of every single Tag Team GX booster box, you do get a guaranteed secret rare. You actually get two guaranteed secret rare. One is a secret rare energy, and the other is an actual secret rare card, which could be a full art card. It could be a hyper rare GX card. It could be the gold Charizard and Reshiram. Now that would be cool. All right, we got ourselves a sad EV. Uh, ditto, uh, oh my goodness, Mysterious Treasure. Nothing really too crazy. A hollow rare Victini, a hollow rare Thunderous, and a ooh, another tag team GX card, Giratina and Garchomp. And we also get the uh, Misty and Lorelei tag team card. But yeah, all right, another tag team GX card. The odds of pulling a God Pack is one in every. 20 booster box so one in 200 packs you're gonna get yourself a god pack i did pull a god pack in the last booster box that i opened of tag team gx all stars so ugh. can i do it again i mean there's always a chance there's always a chance the odds don't they aren't any worse just because i did pull a god pack right they're still the same. It's still 1 in 20. So this booster box could still contain a, oh, Denny GX. Okay, I'll take that. And there is our secret rare energy, secret rare fire energy. These are also worth a pretty penny because you only get one inside of every single booster box. And they are playable in the card game because, hey, energies are energies. You don't really, I guess, maybe like in a competitive environment they're gonna say oh that's a japanese energy you can't use that but come on it's fire energy you don't need to read japanese to know <laughs> that it's fire energy all right on to our next booster box and we're still looking for our secret rare hit there is a secret rare somewhere in this booster box so let's see if we find it we got articuno hollow rare that's a pretty neat one and we got the wishy-washy gx card oh Wishy-washy, I wish you were a gold card, wishy-washy. All right, on to our next booster pack. Oh my goodness, my hands are shaking. Uh, I feel like I, I'm just more vested when it comes to opening up packs that belong to the community rather than my own. Like, this is like really scary for me. I just don't want to mess with these cars at all. Probably because, I don't know, I feel like I do uh, more damage to my own car. We got Jirachi, and in the back, oh, it is not a secret rare. So how many packs have we opened so far? We've gone through six, six booster packs. How many do we have left? We got, oh my goodness, these feel so heavy. My goodness, these booster packs feel so heavy. Which one feels the heaviest? This one feels the heaviest to me. I think this one's it. It's got to be it. I did open up the God Pack and I said, you know, well, even while I was doing that video, I was saying, oh, you know what? If I got the God Pack, I bet you it would feel very heavy. And I didn't notice it. I didn't notice the weight difference at all. But you should be able to notice some kind of weight difference in these booster packs. <laughs> so let's see if I was right on my weight at all. If this one is the one with the secret rare, we got Welder, we got Porygon Z, we got, uh, no, but we got the Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX 
Japanese version. That is a cool hit. I will gladly take it. Three packs left, so let's see if we can find our secret rare in one of these booster packs. I have not pulled a gold tag team GX cards in like six or seven tag team all-stars booster box. So maybe it's in this one. I'm I'm hopeful, man. Like if we can pull a gold card, that would be fantastic. We got the hollow rare uh, Mewtwo. Uh, one of the, oh my God, what? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The community portfolio is so lucky. Whoa, my God, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta stop saying that. All right. Oh my. Oh my. Whoa. This thing has been sitting on my shelf for six months. What am I doing with my life? My God. Oh my God. The Charizard and Reshiram gold card. The chase card. Whoa. I need to breathe. My God. I feel like everything the community portfolio touches just turns to gold. Like, no kidding. Gold. You can't be serious. You can't make this up, man. This is like movie level of like just fiction. My God. It's gorgeous too. Okay, it's not gorgeous. Okay, it's not gorgeous. Anyone else see it? Anyone else see it? I think there's like the slightest bit of whitening on this side. Um, I'm shaking. I'm really shaking because this card is so gosh darn valuable. But yeah, I think there's like the slightest bit of whitening. I don't think it's a deal breaker. I'll let you guys uh, be the judge. Here is the front centering. The back centering looks pretty good. The Japanese cards tend to do a really good job of their print runs and Honestly, this card is gorgeous. There is the gold Charizard and Reshiram Tag Team GX card. I don't know what this card's value at currently. No idea. No idea whatsoever. What I do know is I need to sleeve this card up right now. I didn't have sleeves or top loaders ready. Talk about an amateur move on my end. I can't believe it. We actually pulled the uh, Charizard and Reshiram. It's pretty darn wild. Uh, when we won the vote for the Tag Team All-Stars box opening, I was really cringing. I was like, oh my goodness, we're going to lose so much money. Isn't this booster box going for like $180? Uh, the price on this booster box is actually closer to $140 right now. There may have been a restock on it, which I really appreciate. So the community portfolio didn't spend that much money on it. But yeah, even then at $140, I was like, our odds of making any value on this box is really low. There are a plenty of hits that if we get them, we make back our money in like one single pull, right? If we pull like the Sightseer full art, if we pull the gold uh, Pikachu and Zekrom and definitely the Charizard and Reshiram, that one is a, I don't even know what the word for it. It's so gosh darn expensive right now. And I didn't think it was going to happen. Honestly, the community portfolio has left me so speechless. This really was supposed to be kind of like a meme series where I was just like, hey, let's spend a thousand dollars on a couple of products and just go wild, you know, let's see what happened. I'm kind of making it up as I go. This series was like so unplanned. A lot of people just asked me what would what should they do with a thousand dollars and i thought yeah you know what let's make it a series and do some interesting stuff with it but man it's this is by far my favorite uh series to do a video on because i love opening up cards for you guys like this is so cool i love updating the excel uh Excel file for the community portfolio. I love doing all of it. I love managing these cards for you guys. So yeah, super cool card. We definitely are going to get that card graded. That's not guaranteed. You guys have to vote on it, but I think we should grade that card because yeah, can you guys imagine if this collection goes to $10,000, how much volume that would speak? Pretty darn wild. And we got ourselves the Greninja and Zoroark Tag Team GX as our final hit. So yeah, what a bombshell of a booster box. And this booster box, no joke, 
has been sitting on my shelf for a literal month. Literal months. I just had that card sitting on a shelf for literal months. What am I doing, you know? Like, wow, I could have cracked that card open, sent it off for grading months ago for my own collection and I didn't do it. Wow, okay, all right. That was super wild. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. The community collection has really gone through the roof in terms of value. I can't believe it. My goodness, this is by far my favorite series. Just a quick reminder, if you would like to auction on the Shiny Charizard GX or the Shining Rayquaza, they are currently on auction down in the description. So you can pick one of these cards up if you'd like a piece of the community portfolio. All proceeds will go towards uh, future purchases on upcoming votes. I'm really excited to see where this collection goes because it just keeps getting like stronger, better, and more vibrant. I just can't believe how well it's doing right now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.